Now, if you can do this as a regular exercise, that means you spend more and more time and more and more activities there, like flying. Where can you fly, by the way? Supposing you are sitting in your head, what will you see? Somebody wrote to me this morning, I have a problem. When I sit in the head, I'm much bigger than the head. Not only does the head contain the whole of you, it contains the whole of your universe. It's so big. Only because we think of the physical body, we constrict it to the size of a head. You withdraw attention from the physical body, it's a whole new universe, complete universe inside. So you can fly anywhere you like. Can you fly into, say, South Pole, North Pole? Can you fly to the mountains here? Or can you fly only into some inner imaginary things? No, you can fly into both. How, how come that when you are inside, how can you fly from inside to a place physically, geographically on this physical universe? There is a very good reason for that. Inside, when you withdraw your attention, there's an overlap of experiences taking place. An experience where you're still retaining the whole of your experience of this physical created universe and also the experience of another universe, which is very different, but it looks like the other universe that is there overlapping with this thing is the basis of this universe. This is very crude compared to the fineness of that universe.